Okay, uh, how do you level a wood floor? With a self leveler, there's all kinds of different levelers on the market, floor patches, uh, self levers that you can actually put on the floor to put underneath it. Uh, if you're gonna nail on top of it, it needs to have some sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it needs to be where when the staple goes through it or nail goes through, it doesn't disintegrate, it doesn't explode. Right, uh, and that can be a problem with something like your particle board that's been wet? Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah. I don't know the technical name, the polymer, that would go into the lever, but just mm. make sure it's something you can nail through. Something else you need to make sure of, if, you know, if your wood floor is not level, why isn't it yeah. level? What Sometimes it? it's the trusses being bowed, not uncommon at all. Yes. And that's why we run hardwood flooring across trusses, perpendicular, perpendicular okay. trusses instead of parallel with them, because it's not unusual to have a little sway in there. Yes. If you have a, if you don't have any movement in your wood floor and it's not level, it's not a big issue. If you've got movement and it's not level, yes. you need to fix it. Okay. Find out what's causing right. the problem. But if you don't have any movement and it's it's unlevel, you can just maybe buy a little bit higher grade with longer boards and make sure it's going across at least Stable. two trusses, yes. right, two, three, four trusses, so you don't get that sway. Because you got to remember, a solid piece of wood, it's three quarters of an inch thick. It's much stronger than a piece of plywood is. Yes. So you're going to be good. You're going to have all the structure, structural integrity there that you need, right? Yes.